Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial with Blue Swift Axles. Today, we're going to be talking about breakaway kits. How they're wired up, what they do for your trailer, and how they're triggered. Let's get into it. So the very first thing we're going to discuss is how the breakaway kit works on your trailer and what it actually does. So to start off, you, we can look at the components. The first thing we can see is this breakaway battery box. So this is supplying the power to the breakaway system. And the power comes in this wiring harness here, all the way up the front of the tongue of the trailer, and to this breakaway switch here. Now, what this system does is when you hook your trailer up, your safety chains up to your truck, if the hitch ever comes off of the ball on the truck, your safety chains will catch and you'll have less slack in this cable than you will the safety chains. So the truck will pull this, it'll pop this pin out and supply power from this battery to the brakes of the trailer. Now, some people can tend to get confused with how the system actually works, but this is your source of power, and you're gonna think of your switch as a light switch. So when this cable is pulled here, two metal pieces are connecting in there. This plug right here is the only thing that's separating those two pieces of metal from connecting. So when the trailer comes disconnected from the truck and it is pulled, it's going to come out like that and make those two pieces of metal in there connect. When those two pieces of metal connect, it is going to supply power to the brakes since one end of your wire here, as you can see, is going from the battery. So this is your supply of power. It's going to the switch, and right now, it's not going through and to the brakes because of that plug. Once the plug is disconnected, the, sub the two pieces of metal within the switch touch. It completes the circuit. The power goes through all the way through the other wire on the switch here. And as you could see from the chart, this is going to be your power supply from the breakaway battery box. It's going to come through here as those two pieces of metal are touching. It's gonna complete the circuit, come in, back out through this wire to your brakes, stopping the trailer when there is a hitch malfunction. Now when it comes to mounting a breakaway kit on your trailer, just think about where you're putting it. Put it in somewhere safe um, where it's not overly exposed, like on the outside of the tongue here or something. Just put it somewhere where it won't get hit and then um, tuck your wires in like they are here inside this tongue area here. And then when it comes to the breakaway switch, make sure you're mounting it so it is um, in parallel with the truck and so it is pulling forward. You don't want it to have to pull down or up or left or right because that'll just make it harder for the pin to actually come out of the switch and so it may not trigger your brakes which would be a very bad scenario. Now another thing to cover is sometimes you will have a breakaway box that just has a battery and it has to be taken out and manually charged by a trickle charger or something like that. But with these uh, rechargeable ones, you're going to have two separate wires coming out of your breakaway battery box. And one's gonna be your ground, obviously, so it's gonna be grounded up to the trailer. And then you're gonna have your 12 volt, which is going to hook up into your main wiring harness and when you have your 7-way plugged into your vehicle, it is going to be charging this box as you are driving. All right guys, that was a simple video, but I just wanted to 
tell you guys how a breakaway switch works just so you don't have any questions about uh, maybe the understanding of it and if you want to take the approach to put your own on by all means go for it just keep these tips in mind so in case your trailer does come detached from your truck you are ensuring that your brakes are locking up and you're coming to a safe stop and you don't have a runaway trailer. If you enjoyed today's video, please like and subscribe so you can see more like this. We'll catch you in the next one.